Okay, my name is Ewan Morgan. I'm Professor of U.S. Studies at the Institute for the Study of the Americas. Uh, I have a particular interest in the U.S. Presidency, and in relationship to that, I'm the Director of the United States Presidency Center at the Institute. Yes, well, one of the things that we've done in, in the U.S. Presidency Center is to carry out the first U.K. survey to rate uh, the performance of American presidents from George Washington to George Bush. And we decided to do that uh, in part to showcase the extent of the quality of uh, uh, UK scholarship on the US. Uh, uh, we feel we didn't have a sufficiently high profile as a community and this was one way of doing it. And we um, had um, quite a considerable media impact, uh, uh, including a, a, leading art a lead article on the BBC website. So that helped to publicize the community. Uh, the survey was also very useful in terms of uh, uh, demonstrating uh, the um, uh, um, ideas about who uh, were the best presidents, who were the worst, and uh, it uh, actually showed that we thought uh, better of the presidents of the past, of the distant past, rather than the presidents uh, who have held the office recently. A uh, conclusion that uh, shows, I think, that we have excessive expectations of presidents today and uh, we tend to glorify the presidents of the distant past. Well, uh, from the U.S. academic community, there have been considerable interest in uh, the uh, um, uh, in the findings that we produced. Uh, they tended broadly to replicate uh, what American polls have uh, uh, found. Uh, uh, the top three uh, were the same as the top three in most American polls, but with one difference: uh, Link Abraham Lincoln usually tops American polls. Lincoln came second in ours, and Franklin D. Roosevelt was the uh, was the top one. Now, Roosevelt coming out top did cause some uh, concern to uh, people on the right in the United States. Uh, the BBC had considerable um, and not wholly, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, enthusiastic uh, comments from uh, people who said uh, that uh, you know the socialist Brits were choosing a, a, an architect of big government and that uh, this showed uh, uh, bias on our part. Well, uh, it didn't in reality. Uh, it was a very close call between uh, FDR and uh, Lincoln. And um, we did, however, uh, put George W. Bush way down in the poll. Uh, he was uh, 31st, uh, put in the bottom 10. But having said that, he usually comes out worse in American polls. Obama was included, but only on an interim basis. I, I asked people to give a vote for Obama, uh, but uh, that uh, this would not be factored in. Uh, had Obama been factored in, he would have come eighth out of uh, uh, f the 42 presidents surveyed. But I think because he wasn't uh, being counted, people were quite generous. Uh, I think that uh, he, uh, he got a pretty good deal, I think which again cause offence to our conservative friends in the United States. Well, it was, uh, we were interested in seeing whether there would be significant differences between ourselves and our uh, US colleagues or whether we would replicate them. Broadly, we, we had more areas of agreement than disagreement, and uh, that's inevitable because uh, as US scholars, regardless of where you are, you have the same uh, uh, approach to, um, you, you, you want great leaders who do great things. Uh, uh, there were some significant differences However, uh, uh, John F. Kennedy, who ranks very high at uh, top 10 president in U.S. polls, was only 15th in our poll. And uh, uh, rather surprisingly, uh, Jimmy Carter, who does very badly in U.S. polls, was, uh, other than Ronald Reagan, the best rated of the recent presidents. So there were some, uh, uh, some differences um, uh, that uh, uh, perhaps we were not as, uh, uh, shall we say, involved in the, um, in the same passions as our American colleagues.
Well, I think that uh, the survey uh, should only be held once every 10 years. Uh, I, I know some American uh, um, organizations who hold one a year and uh, opinions can't change in a year. In 10 years time, uh, uh, people like myself will uh, uh, have retired uh, and a new generation of uh, UK scholars will come in. So it'll be useful uh, to find out whether the uh, younger ones, the newer people on the scene uh, continue to have the, uh, the same views as their predecessors but I think it is an important thing to do uh, because it does raise the profile of the um, uh, US history and politics community in the UK in a way that uh, uh, I, I don't think anything else in recent years has done.